Todd Tube, thank you for a ten dollars super chat. Are there any negative consequences to adding too many capacitors to a circuit? I'm building a twelve S. So Todd Tube, as you add more capacitors, the filtering, uh, the low pass filtering of the circuit gets stronger. Okay, um, and that's fine because our goal when we're using capacitors to filter our power supply. Our goal is to basically pass DC as close to pure DC as possible and remove as much of the AC component as possible. So since our goal is to pass pure DC, it's really not possible for us to over filter the circuit, right? You can add for, for power filtering, you can add as many capacitors as you want within, you know, obviously, Someone will come up with a hypothetical situation where you have so many capacitors that it's a problem. But within any kind of sane range, you are not going. There's no negative consequence to having more capacitors. The only problem is size and weight. Okay, so just crank it up. Add them. Add them capacitors, baby. Now, if you are building a circuit that is filtering a specific frequency range. So for example, if you're building an analog radio amplifier or an analog radio receiver that has to receive a certain frequency range, then it's very important to design the capacitance, the inductance and the resistance of the circuit to because all of those things will affect the frequency range in which the circuit responds. And having too much capacitance will detune the circuit and it won't work correctly. That's not the situation that we're in. For example, there used to be, uh, there, there are times occasionally where you will put a capacitor on a digital signal and that capacitor will round off the, the corners of the digital signal by removing the high frequency components. And if you have too much capacitance, that digital signal will be so distorted and rounded off that it will no longer be receivable anymore. Okay, but for power filtering, all the capacitors.